Top 7 Crazy Facts About Real Life Pirates Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, sort of. While the word pirate may elicit the image of a bearded, boat-faring criminal, real life pirates aren't quite as stylized as lore suggests. Although many stories of the past may be true, modern piracy is steeped in complicated technological, political, and socio-economic factors. While many areas have their own varied versions of these so-called pirates, one thing remains the same, the terrifying reality of hijackers at sea as a stark reminder of the dangers at hand when traveling via international waters. Today, let's take a look at 7 facts about real-life pirates. Number 7. It Happens A Lot Sure, you may hear about a pirate attack here and there on the news, typically only when it's something of mainstream public interest. However, the frequency of the pirate attacks you generally don't hear about is alarmingly high, with numbers soaring especially in modern times. The International Chamber of Commerce's Commercial Crime Services provides a real-time updated log of reported attacks, and a quick browse through the list yields some unsettling results. With maritime crimes happening on almost a daily level, the amount of kidnapping and theft is frighteningly high. Although not all cases end in tragedy, these figures are uncomfortably large, no matter the ultimate outcome. Number 6. There Aren't Many Repercussions There isn't that much deterrent involved. Since many pirates originate from impoverished areas, socioeconomic factors are already in play. There is an unfortunate allure to piracy for some regional areas, compounded with the fact that due to strange legal technicalities, there aren't many laws against modern pirates. In fact, the grand majority of criminals captured are indeed questioned, but they're simply released most of the time, unable to be held on any sort of actual charge. Since many countries refuse to imprison captured pirates due to the high expenditures and effort required, most of them are released back into their life of crime to repeat the same cyclic behavior. Number 5. They're not all selfish. Kinda. Although we'll get back to the scarier breed of pirates in a moment, let's take a look at some of the other types of water-traveling antagonists. There's such thing as an environmental pirate, that is, a non-robbing sort of Robin Hood. Groups like the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society were founded to conserve and protect ecosystems and species as a marine wildlife conservation organization. According to their website, they use innovative direct action tactics to investigate, document, and take action when necessary to expose and confront illegal activities on the high seas. That's a fancy way of saying ramming and or sinking ships that engage in harmful behavior. We guess that's one way of stopping it. Number 4. Ransoms Can Be Extraordinarily High Back to the super scary pirates. Although we mentioned earlier that, indeed, not every report of maritime piracy results in kidnapping, but when it does, the consequences can be extreme. Ship owners have faced anywhere between 50,000 US dollars to upwards of 1 million dollars, with select cases exceeding even that once assets are accounted for. Since our world is based on supply and demand, many security organizations have been set up, offering to escort captains and their ships through dangerous waters for a cool fee of 120,000 dollars, which just happens to also be the median average for demanding ransoms. Since the risks are so staggeringly high, this has become somewhat of a necessary insurance. Number 3. They're all over the place Since films like Captain Phillips brought Somalian pirates into the public limelight, most people incorrectly assume that most of these criminal organizations are geographically limited to just the Federal Republic of Somalia. While the sketchy political landscape does provide an ideal spot for many of these bandits, there are thriving groups of seafaring crooks all over the world. While areas of the Indian Ocean, the waters of Indonesia, the Red Sea, and Singapore are also littered with piracy, groups in Nigeria, Bangladesh, Peru, Mexico, Japan, and Venezuela are all home to their very own brand of dangerous underground counterculture militia. Dishes. Number 2. There's plenty of government and mob ties. According to sources, modern pirates operate differently depending on their geographic location. While this seems obvious, there's more going on under the surface than you'd probably realize. Many of today's modern pirates have deep ties to organized crime and corrupt government officials, exploiting legal loopholes either by opportunity or by the help of insider consultants. Although it may sound like a conspiracy theory, reports of corruption in London have confirmed the passage of information to pirates, including ship layouts, their detailed routes, and even an inventory of the cargo found aboard. Other reports go on to indicate Far Eastern pirates even receiving protection from the Chinese government. Number 1. They're not exactly swashbucklers 
it can be easy to forget that actual real-world pirates aren't wielding a cutlass. While the image of a slashing sword is romantic, it's hardly accurate. In fact, most modern-day pirates are much more hardcore than that, stocked with heavy-duty firepower that includes mortars, rocket-propelled grenades, and even a plethora of automatic weaponry. Fully equipped with technological gadgets, the idea that these hijackers are out of touch with competitive criminal methods is a foolish one. Cell phones, radio communication devices, trackers, and other high-tech toys are utilized quite frequently, with criminally flourishing areas like Somalia and the South China Sea being the most life-threatening of all the areas. Thank you for watching Interesting Top 7s. Do you have an idea for a future Top 7? We get tons of ideas every week, so leave a comment below. Who knows, you may see your idea in an upcoming list. And as always, if you love our lists, make sure to click that like button and subscribe for new videos every week.